Hey guys, it's Christine, also known as Ivy Winter. Thank you for joining me for another Wedding Wednesday video. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about my planning process slash the books I bought like a crazy person to help me plan and also a little bit about what the first vendor meeting was like. Um, so I recently purchased two books from Amazon to help me plan the wedding and they are both from The Knot. I'm sure a lot of you know The Knot is one of the biggest wedding planning websites like out there. So they obviously have some books and um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about these things that I've been using in my planning that so far I found really helpful. I don't think everybody needs planning books. I'm a big planner. That's just in my nature. I love having things to keep me organized. I love to read up on things, but I don't think everyone needs this. Like you could probably just do everything through a Google Doc and be just fine. I just personally like them. And if you're someone who's like me, who likes to have actual things to organize you, then you might want to check these out. Um, so the first one is a big guy and it's this right here. It's um, the Knots Ultimate Wedding Planner and Organizer. Um, so this was actually on sale on Amazon recently for like under $20, which is really good. It is an entire um, binder and this binder helps you organize your entire wedding. So it's split up into all different things, starting with, and you can really see I took some of these things out, but starting with like color picking and moving on to like your timeline and your budget and everything from like venues and then venues venue and menu <laughs> that runs really well um dress and accessories doing your guest list um it has like worksheets um to-do lists that you should be following for like each thing hold that up there so you guys can see it um so it's information but it's also kind of like its own um, interactive like cheat sheets and stuff like that. Um, what I liked in the front here, I can show really quick, is there is an entire section on all of your wedding contacts. So I can put down all of my venues here, which I'm going to be doing, um, and have all their contact information there. This book is a big guy, it is heavy, it is a legit binder, it's like really for the person who really wants to be writing everything down and kind of tracking everything but i like to write things down it, it solidifies it for me having it all in one place is great it has really good checklists to follow which have been great to show peter because i think sometimes he feels like he doesn't know what he should do next and so this has been a really good guide for the both of us it's also reminded me of things that i forgot like i need to worry about lighting and we wanted to put up drapery in one of the rooms that we're gonna be having dinner and that's like something I need to look into, another vendor I need to contact. And like, this helped me remember all of those details because it literally has everything you can think of. And another thing that helps me, especially for today, is also another knot book. And this one is called The Knot Book of Wedding Lists. And basically what it is, is not just lists of things that you should be doing, but also, list of questions you should be asking your vendors when you're interviewing them um, and what you should be doing to vet them. And to me, that was really important because I don't know what to ask these vendors. This isn't something I've ever done before and, and most people have only ever done this once. Not everyone, but most people. So nobody really knows. I mean, I think you're going through the process and there's definitely important questions that you just wouldn't think of. Um, so this actually really helped me today when we were talking to the photographer. Um, there is an entire section on that. There's entire sections on your invitations and your stationery, your wedding party. It's basically just like checklist after checklist with like a little ability to like write on the sides and stuff. It's again, very interactive experience, but also helped me because I went to this meeting today and was like, I don't know what the heck to ask. So that said, um, today we met with a photographer who I talked about in the last video, I'm Photography. Um, I will include their link again below, but they were mentioned in my last video. I showed you guys like some of the stuff that they've done and we absolutely loved them. Um, we were really blown away by the work that they've done. We were cool with the prices of the packages. In New York City, photography is definitely much more expensive than I would say 
most other places. Weddings in general in New York City much more expensive. It's funny because I'm seeing like the average, you know, cost for flowers and for this and for that online or like people talking about it on Reddit. There's a subreddit for wedding planning and they are thousands of dollars less than New York City um, in most other states. So that's kind of depressing. Um, but with that said, we did like their pricing. It was what we found to be fair for the quality of the photography that this guy puts out. Um, and we loved the way the packages were done. We actually have a friend who is a photographer who as a engagement gift is giving us an engagement shoot. And so, because we're not doing that with the photographer, they offered to give us that two hours to our wedding day, which is like amazing. Like to have an extra two hours on your wedding day, just because we didn't do the engagement shoot is lovely. Like a lot of photographers do not have to do that. They don't do that. So we loved that. Um, so yeah, so we showed up and, and thanks to these books, I was kind of a little bit um, more prepared. And so some of the questions that I asked was, you know, how did you get into this industry? How long have you been doing this for? And what do you to do in weddings? Um, how many weddings do you do a day? Which is kind of important, especially if you don't want to feel like your wedding is rushed. If especially you're going to have an earlier wedding, like we're going to have an evening wedding, so we might be the last one. Um, but you know, how do they plan that out? How many hours do you generally get? And how many do you think you really need? Um, do you do one photographer or two photographers on site? For him, they do two, which I think is awesome. Um, what's your minimum of how many images we're gonna get? Um, is there any way to negotiate on packages depending on what we're doing or not doing? Um, what's your style? Is it mostly candid? Do you like to do a lot of, you know, pose photos and if it's candid how like what is your style there how would you describe it um we also asked like what would he do if there were ever an issue with your equipment um anything breaks down something happens the day of so it's really good to know what that plan is um and yeah that was pretty much it and then he asked us some questions about what we wanted and where we were gonna be he's already um shot four weddings at our venue before so i really really like that i like somebody who knows the venue and can understand how to shoot it and what we're looking for um and yeah it was like maybe a 20 25 minute meeting um really low key went through all of like the albums he offers and stuff and um yeah it went really well so we're thinking on it um we may or may not talk with another photographer but i think that we really like this person and he's available so we might just go with it um so that's about it for our vendor visit so far um this upcoming weekend i am going to be wedding dress shopping and i'm really excited about it um, we kind of have to start the search because, like I said, we're, we're planning in a tight, you know, time frame right now. Um, we're about eight and a half weeks, I was gonna say, whoa, months away from the wedding. Well, if it was weeks, I'd be screwed. Um, we're about eight and a half months away from the wedding, so I need to already start looking at dresses. I'm going this weekend with Peter's mom. Um, and so that'll be really exciting. Who knows if I'll find the one. Um, I know that like it can take sometimes multiple trips. I do have another appointment scheduled on April 1st in case I don't find the one this weekend. Um, and then we're taking Peter's parents to see the venue. They want to see it themselves. I don't blame them. Um, they're helping us pay for some of the wedding, full disclosure. So, you know, obviously they want to see what the venue looks like and kind of what we're going to do. And yeah, that's the next step. So I feel like next week's video is going to be about the wedding dress shopping process and how that goes. And maybe I'll have some good news. I don't know. Oh, and to follow up on my last video, I talked about the efficient that I really, really wanted. Um, I reached out to her and she did my friend's wedding and I was hoping that she'd be available for my date. Well, she is and she actually remembered me and Peter from my friend's wedding and she's like super excited to be the officiant of our wedding. So that is crazy exciting. We're gonna be meeting with her sometime in the next month. She told us there's no real rush, but she'll make sure to hold our date. Um, so that's so exciting. I, I was thrilled about that. Um, 
so yeah, I mean, lots, lots to do in the next couple of weeks. Um, I've already asked all my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids. I asked um, my guy bridesmen to be in my party. So um, I'm having three women and two guys in my party on my side. I don't care about tradition. I'm close with them. I want them to be on my side. Um, so Rob of Rob Plays That Game actually is going to be one of my bridesmen. Obviously, how could he not be? Um, and my brother is going to be another one. And yeah, it's really exciting. So everyone's accepted and we're kind of just going to be planning that. Um, yeah, so things are moving pretty quickly. Um, but I'm excited for it and I think we're moving at a really good pace considering our time frame. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions about my experience with meeting a photographer, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear about how you found your photographer for your wedding. It's happened already. Um, and if you have any tips on dress shopping, I would love to hear that as well. Um, just in general, I'd love to hear wedding planning stories because I think they're fun. And if you like this video, then like it. And if you want to see more like this or any of my other content that I come out with, please subscribe. I super, super appreciate it. And that's it, guys. So yeah, I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye.